And there's Birdie. Hello. How weak to drive. My week to drive and pick up and, you know, I may drop her off. Who knows? We never know. But we, know. we both think we did pretty well. Well, I think it's a loss. I'm not saying how big, but well, it's a loss. It's the same with it me. It should be, anyway. That's my thoughts, too. Yeah. But, but we'll see. We'll let you know when we get to the meeting. Yay! Bye. Bye. Okay. How'd you do, Bert? I forgot what you said. Point six? Point two. Point two. Point two. Point two. I lost two point six. I'm on my way. Hey, I lost. That's all that matters. Well, good morning. Today is Thursday. I was going to say Friday. Where's the car going? Thursday, September 28th. As you can see, Bertie and I have already been at our Weight Watchers meeting. I'm so glad I rejoined and joined the meetings because it's really definitely making a difference for me. <clears throat> but we have some birthdays. Today is Pat's birthday, and the name of her channel is Lily's, Ga Lily's Graham. So, Lily's Graham. So, Pat, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pat. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Okay, this lady thinks she's a car. She's walking down the middle of the street. But she's a car. Um, but it's also Shelly's birthday, and the name of Shelly's channel is The Lion Share. So, Shelly, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Shelly. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Well, I hope you both have a great, great birthday. But we have an anniversary today. Today is Enza and Rob Garadetti. It's their 32nd anniversary. So Enza and Rob, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary. Well, I hope you have a great, great anniversary. This is one of the roads they need to fix, but they won't get to that this year. Anyway, as you can see, bumpity, bumpity, bumpity. We have a little bit of running to do today, so I thought I'd take you along with me. Um, first stop is going to be oops, first stop, the dollar store because I have to get some cards for the. I got to get a wedding card for Saturday, and then we got to get Jimmy's birthday is on the sixth of October, and Jim's birthday is the eleventh of October. But we're going to do the family dinner together on the fifth of October, so I have to get their birthday cards, and then I'm going to go over to the post office to see if I got any mail. Then I gotta go to CVS to pick up Jim's prescription. I might just go in because I think the lottery is big. The Mega Ball or Power Ball or something. Not that I ever think I can win, but if you don't buy a ticket, you're guaranteed not to win. So I think I can spring for two bucks for that. And then uh, I gotta go to the bank. I wanna get a copy of the check that they cashed for the advance restoration, the crappiest one around. See if they uh, cash their check. I want to get a copy of that to put with my other paperwork. And I got to get some money for the wedding to put in the envelope. And that'll be a, that'll be it for the running. Not really sure. I have a leftover piece of chicken that I'm going to have for dinner. I think I'm just going to have some chicken and cottage cheese with a tomato. And for breakfast, I think I'm just going to have uh, a half of avocado hard-boiled egg. I think I finished the strawberries because I don't want, they'll probably go bad by the time I get back from my trip for this weekend. And maybe it's just some toast. That sounds good. I'm, not, I'm really happy that I lost and I'm still within my points. I'm getting enough calories. I'm not starving. I'm not feeling hunger. Um, so joining the meetings was one of the best things I could have ever done. Hopefully you've watched Survivor, because if not, go la 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 la, because I'm going to tell you, I don't like Emily. She's on the yellow team. She is just so, oh, talk about negative. Oh, my gosh. And then she wants to vote out one of the strongest players, because it's going to help her get to the merge quicker. And they're going, um, no, it might get you on another tribe, but your true personality is going to come out, and people, people aren't going to like you, because I don't like her either. And Brandon... Um, I don't know how he passed 
Joan at uh, Joan's Point of Plate and I were texting back and forth. I so agree with Joan. I do not know how that man passed the psychological testing. He was bawling and crying when he first got on the boat. Like, it was ridiculous. Even Jim said, oh, he's the first one to go. And he would have been the first one to go if the other one wouldn't have volunteered to go because she was upset that uh, she didn't have a bed. She watched Survivor for many, many years. Okay, if you watch Survivor for many, many, many years, you, first of all, you know there's not a bed. You know that right off the bat. You know that there's not going to be food. And that was another thing that she had to complain about. And just how hard it was. Well, can you not watch the show and see that it's going to be hard? I'm thinking, oh my goodness gracious. So how did she pass the testing? I don't know if they were just so eager to get people on there because I know, I don't know for a fact, but I know that there's got to be more than the 18 people that applied. There had to have been a lot more than that applied to go on this show. That uh, I don't understand how they picked these two. And then the one to, wanted to get rid of one of your... I can understand later on you want to get rid of a strong player, but at the beginning you want to keep your strong players because you want to get to the part where you're going to have to worry about getting to the end. I don't get it. Although you'll never catch me on Survivor. I'll never, you know. Not in my any day, never in my life would I have wanted to go on Survivor. And I did like... And then the one guy, Brando, looks so familiar to me. I forget what tribe he's on. If he's on the red tribe or the blue tribe. But he looks so familiar. Like he's been on another, him or a relative has been on another reality show. Can't picture who, he just looks so familiar to me. I don't know. I looked him up and they don't say anything on the thing. You know, like Corey on Big Brother is related to somebody that was on uh, Survivor. That was the first one voted off. So... I did find that on, when I Googled it, but I, I'm just kind of curious, whatever. But I'm going to still watch. I did miss Big Brother on Wednesday, so I'm glad that next week, I hopefully, I think they'll figure I think, yeah, they're moving to Tuesdays, so they'll get their three days. I did watch some of the live feeds. It's kind of boring because there's not really any major strategizing going on because they really don't know what's coming. And it was kind of like a boring week for them, I think. So, but I'm kind of curious how it's going to go. But we are now at the Dollar Tree, and I am going to get my cards. I can't find, I don't find finds like uh, Kim does. Kim finds some really great stuff. I must not have the eye to look for these things, but I'll be back. Okay, I can't tell, begin to tell you what a crappy dollar store this is, this Dollar Tree. They didn't have any wedding, well, take that back. They had one wedding card, and it was of a black couple. On the front. I'm not going to a black couple wedding. <laughs> so anyway, they didn't have any wedding cards, so I'm going to have to get it when I get to CVS anyhow. But we're a hop, skip, and a jump. Although I'm not going to hop, and I'm not going to skip, and I'm not going to jump to the post office. I'm going to go check and see if we got any mail. So, and there's nobody here, so that ought to be quick and easy to get in and out. So I will be right back. Look at that. Less than a minute. No mail. Um, I do like to check once a week just to make sure. Uh, they have informed delivery for your home addresses, but not for post office boxes. When I first got the box, they had informed delivery. Then they did a revamp of this post office, and now they don't have it anymore. And every once in a while, I'll ask at the desk, and they go, no, I don't understand why they don't, because really it's the the post office boxes are the ones where you'd be more interested if you got mail rather than your house because all you got to do is look in your mailbox at your house. <laughs> of course, I know that some people live in like gated communities where there's only the one main area where the boxes are. So that I do understand. So, anyway, so now we're on our way to CBS. Pick up Jim's prescription. To buy a wedding card at full price <laughs> and then uh what else oh get a lottery ticket yeah so any hooser birdie's not gonna be able to go to the meeting next week because she's going on vacation today she took a week off and so instead of usually tuesdays and wednesdays are her day is off but usually she works Tuesdays and Wednesdays and has Thursdays and Fridays off. But since she's going to take Tuesday and Wednesday as a vacation day next week, 
she's going to be working Thursday and Friday. So I will be going to the meetings by myself. And then the following week, it's only going to be a five-day weigh-in for me because I'll be going on Tuesday because it's our uh, Book of the Month Club. Uh, Denise and I have already decided that if we don't like this book, depending on what book they pick for the next month, whether or not we're going to continue going. We're just going to look for um, another book club that reads more of our genre of books. Like I said, I do like it because it kind of opens up your mind to, to look at different books that you might not have thought of reading before. I haven't even started reading the book, but <clears throat> usually the cover has to jump out at me at least, or the title of the book has to jump out at me, or even the little notes in the, that tells you what the book is about. None of those three things jumped out at me. So I'm willing to give it a chance, but Denise is going to read it first. She just wants to read it and get it over with. I like to read it closer to the actual meeting day so then I actually know what they're talking about and I can refer to it. I really have a good long-term memory. Lately, my short-term memory is not as great as it should be. I do a lot of puzzles and games and things like that just to keep my mind sharp. Because I, I really think if you don't use it, you lose it. So I want to really focus on keeping my mind sharp. So that's why I do all of those little games and stuff like that. Look at that. I think I would have parked correctly. I could have parked in the front of the store. So anyway, we are now at CVS. And so I will talk to you soon. Well, that just killed me. Five dollars. I know. When you're used to only spending... 50 cents for a card. Five dollars is a big sticker shock. But I did get the card and I got the uh, lottery tickets and I got Jim's medicine. So now we are on our way to the bank. And then we're going to go home and get something to eat. Getting close to my breakfast time, one o'clock. I just remembered just now I forgot to take my medications this morning. I was wondering where my mouth is feeling a little dry it's because I usually start the day off with at least 16 ounces of water which I forgot to take this morning so but anyway um I am so glad that I decided to go to the meetings because I really do think that made all the difference in my journey made all the difference in everything that I've done in the last three weeks I really rethunk things and uh I know that's not a word but I really took some time to think about things and, and know that I have to be accountable to somebody. And I've always had to be accountable to myself. I know that. And I always was accountable to you guys. I know that too. But it's, it's just different. Uh, it's just, it just reminded me how much I, I missed going to the meetings. And there was someone in there that said that I helped them today because I was talking to them. They were just very discouraged because they uh, rejoined Weight Watchers last week and they gained three pounds in the week. And, uh, and so the leader was asking her, well, did you stay within your points? And she said, well, I, I'm supposed to have 23 points a day, but I've averaged between 18 and 40. Well, how many days did you go have 40 points, you know, type of thing? And uh, she's discouraged because she's lost a lot of weight before and she gained it all back. And that's why she's gone back. And then when they were asking her what she said to eat, it was like she said, well, I had some Cheetos, but I tracked them. You know, and, and but I had more than one serving, and so like she was eating empty calories, and so everybody was trying to tell her that it's not that you can't have Cheetos, but you have to balance it off. So after the meeting, I was talking with her, and she says, "Well, the job she has, she's not allowed to eat at her desk. They don't get a set lunch hour or whatever." And uh, she says, "So you're not allowed to eat." And I says, "So you eat all of this food before you go?" And she says, "Well, no, I hit the vending machines a lot." And then I snack. I said, well, that's your problem. It's like you're not eating. You should bring some healthy food with you. And she says, well, you're not allowed to leave your post. And I said, well, I'm not trying to be mean, but you left your post to go to the vending machine. And she said, well, yeah, when you go to the bathroom or something. And I said, well, why can't you bring a little lunch box and keep a cooler in it and then just bring it with you to your desk? And then just every once in a while, can we not go in? Oh, I think we can. I think we just gotta go over this way. Um, I know, I'm talking to myself. So I, I said, just do that. I said, you know, bring like a hard one. She said, well, the thing is, I work afternoons, 
and I eat my dinner for before I go to work. And I says, well, then bring some kind of a breakfast food with you and have breakfast. You know, bring some cereal, bring a little carton of milk, eat dry cereal, something like that. You know, I never thought of that. So, anywho, there. Here we are. Let's see. Hopefully, they did cash the check because that'll give me a little bit more ground to stand on. But I will let you know. Okay, we got the copy of the check. They cashed it right away. So I got that going in my favor. Got my money for the envelope. Was able to get in without getting too wet because there's power washing the front of the building. And now we're on our way home. So I can't say enough how, many, how glad I am that I rejoined Weight Watchers. If you're new to my channel, just as a quick recap, at one point I had lost 96 pounds and then started thinking I could do it on my own. Kept believing I could do it on my own. I did pretty well at the beginning, but then, uh, no, then I kind of started failing. So now I'm back on track. I want to get back to my, my goal is to lose 100 pounds. And so I'm like at 48.6 now. So I'm less than 50 pounds back. I think I gained almost 60 pounds back. But I'm, I'm back on track. I'm going to start losing my weight. Uh, I want to thank everybody that has sent me their before and after pictures already. Uh, like I said, one day next week when I'm back from vacation, I'm going to put together a video that I'm going to share everybody's before and after pictures. Um, some people have texted them to me. Some people have put them in uh, my email, which is scarrico39 at gmail.com. So um, look for that next week. I'm not exactly sure what day. Um, but I am definitely going to have a video up next week with before and after success stories. And, you know, it could even be, I've had a couple people write me that, you know, like I gained my weight back. And so uh, I don't know that I can say, you know, whatever. I'm considering myself a success that I've lost 10 pounds in the last three weeks. Um, I mean, sure, I've gained back. It's just, I'm just losing weight that I've gained. But isn't that true of our whole lives? Of we're going up and down, seesaw and back and forth. And, uh always thinking that, you know, like I can't count it from here. I'm counting my weight loss from this point on because I have lost now 48 pounds and kept it off. I am I dwell on, though, I know I dwell a lot on how much I did lose because I did lose the 96 pounds at one point. But I, I know that now that I'm back attending the meetings, I've got a great support group where I go. I like the ladies that are in the group. I love the leader who was my leader before. So um, everything's working in my favor. Um, like I said, my son is getting married um, on March 29th. I'd like to lose some weight for the wedding. I'd like to get pretty close to gain, losing the weight that I've gained back. I know I'm not going to lose all that weight. I'm not like pie in the sky visionary. But I, I can make a pretty good darn dent in it. I really can. And it's almost six months away. So that's 30 pounds, because I think if I could lose, I think I could lose five pounds a month. I really do think that's a realistic goal. It's a pound and a quarter a week. Maybe some weeks I won't hit the whole pound and a quarter. Maybe some weeks I won't even lose the weight at all. But I think a realistic goal to think five pounds a month is not too bad. And 30 pounds will put me at 78 pounds lost. So you can't shake a stick at that, ladies and gentlemen. You just cannot. So that's my plan, and that's what I plan on doing. So um, I'm not going to show you my food today, only because I got a lot of stuff to do. I got to do some laundry. I got to get some packing. I got to get get ready for the weekend. So I'm going to tell you now to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And <clears throat> I will talk to you guys tomorrow on my way to Frankenmuth. <laughs>